Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video which is going to be a tutorial on this short overlay design including glitter fades and hand painted nail art so let's get into it. I have already done my right hand um, so this is the kind of theme and design we are going to go for. I'm going to make it a little bit different on my left hand because it's going to be a little bit easier for me uh, being right handed. I can go a little bit more all out and this set has been inspired by a set that I saw on Instagram. Um, the account is Nails by Green and it's a very talented nail tech called Charlotte Green who I believe is based in Sweden. I apologise if I got that wrong. I think she's Swedish um, but I just love this design and I wanted to kind of recreate it but make it my own at the same time. So that is what we're going to do today. These nails are all prepped ready to go. So I've done the cuticle work, I've prepped the natural nail plate. Um, and if you want to learn how I do my prep procedure, I do have a prep and overlay online masterclass where I go fully in depth my whole procedure. Uh, so I'll leave that link down in the description box if you are interested. Um, and we are gonna start off by applying our tack, which is the bonding agent that I like to use. Um, it is the one that I Fine suits most people and lasts well on my own nails so I'm going to apply this to all the nails and then cure it for 30 seconds in my Light Elegance LED dot lamp. For my overlay today, I'm going to use Light Elegance Jimmy Gel uh, purely for the fact that it's just really simple and easy to use, especially on yourself. So <laughs> I'm going to apply a thin base layer of this over all five nails and then cure that for 60 seconds in my Light Elegance lamp. Next, I am going to apply a base layer of colour that is going to go underneath some of the glitter gel nails. So I'm using XOXO. This is from the latest collection, buttercream collection from Light Elegance. It's a really beautiful, like maroony, burgundy colour with a really nice shimmer. And it will just go really nicely under the glitter gel that I'm going to use called I need attention. So I'm just going to apply this firstly to the little finger and this little finger is going to be a two glitter fade so I'm just going to apply this around the cuticle area and then 
fade it down towards the tip and really the purpose of this is it just gives a really nice neat line around the cuticle and that is why I like to do the colour underneath uh, the glitter gel application just to give me that really crisp line around the cuticle. My ring finger is going to be my accent nail with my hand painted design. So for this one I'm going to do a glitter fade from the tip but each half of the nail is going to be a different glitter. That will make sense the further we go on. <laughs> so I'm only going to apply XOXO to the left half of the nail and blend down towards that cuticle area. The middle finger is going to be an all out glitter nail so I'm just going to apply the colour all the way over this nail in a nice thin even coat. For the index finger I'm going to do a glitter fade from the tip so I'm applying the colour across the tip area and then again I'm just going to blend this down towards the uh, cuticle area. So for the base under the gold glitter that I'm going to use, I am using It's Showtime, which is a colour gel from Light Elegance. It's a really nice, like, soft, cool-toned gold, so it's not too, like, brassy and in-your-face. It uh, just sits really nicely under the glitter gel. So I'm applying this to the thumb first. This is going to be an all-over glitter nail, so I'm just applying a thin layer of this all the way over the nail. And the only other area that I need to add it's showtime to is the other half of this accent nail. So again, I'm just doing the same as what I did with XOXO. I'm just doing it on the right hand side of the nail. So applying to the tip area and then blending down towards the cuticle. Now it's time for the good stuff, for the sparkle. So as I said, the glitter gel that I'm going to use for this design is I Need Attention. I flip in love this glitter gel because it basically contains every possible colour you can think of. It is like a pick and mix glitter gel. I love it. I'm going to apply this to basically all of the areas that I applied that layer of XOXO. So it's a full cover nail on the middle finger and then faded on the ones that have got the faded colour underneath.
for the gold glitter I am going to use Me 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 which is a really fine holographic gold glitter but again a bit of a softer gold not too kind of brassy in your face and again I'm just going to apply this where I applied the gold colour before. Uh, the only place that I'm applying that doesn't already have a base colour is the end of this little finger where I'm doing the two glitter fade. Um, I just don't find that I need the colour underneath for this one um, and it creates a bit more of a contrast by not having the base colour. It's just the way I like to do it. So applying that and then just again applying to the areas of the nail that have that gold base colour on and curing these layers for 30 seconds each in the LED dot lamp. The little finger I'm going to apply just a very thin layer of each glitter gel again um, for this two glitter fade I just prefer to do it in two thinner layers rather than in one thicker layer like I do the others so um, yeah just going in with I need attention and then I'll come back in with me 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 again just a little like thin layer just to blend everything nicely. Now we have all of our glitter on, we can encase all of these nails. So I'm gonna apply my Jimmy Gel again. I'm applying a thin layer, and I am gonna work on one nail at a time. I just find it easier with Jimmy Gel because it self levels so well um, that I can just do one nail at a time and flash cure in between. If you're working on a client, you'd obviously like switch their hands over between each finger. Um, for me, I just flash cure for like five, 10 seconds. So just applying a thin layer on the nail, adding a little bit more product through the middle of the nail, and then just tweaking the product here and there if I've got any low spots or I want to build the apex a little bit more. And then this cures in the LED dot lamp for 60 seconds. Although I do tend to put this on the 120 setting just in case of any heat spike, although it's really rare with um, Jimmy Gel.
once everything's cured I am cleansing the nails ready for some finished filing now you may find that on your customers you might not need to finish file because Jimmy Gel self levels so well but certainly when I'm working on myself I can never get it as perfect as I can on somebody else so I do always end up finish filing the nails so I'm starting off with the free edge just filing that into shape making sure I've got enough product at the end of the nail and then I'll go in and smooth the nail out just make sure there's no bumps or anything and make sure it's nice and flush around the cuticle area Now we've got some nice smooth nails we can go in with our nail art so I've cleansed the nail to get rid of any dust or anything and now I'm using XOXO which was the buttercream that I used for the base colour under the I Need Attention glitter and I'm just creating this kind of swirl flame uh, shape up the nail starting from the bottom right corner of our signature ring finger design and just bringing it through the middle and finishing somewhere near the cuticle area of the nail and just perfecting that with my brush. I cure that for 30 seconds and then come in with Wanna Be My Tarzan which is a really nice it's like an ivory colour, it's not like a soft white, but it's not quite a cream. It's a really beautiful shade and it's got really great pigmentation, which is perfect for nail art like this. So I'm creating another kind of swirled flame section um, just next to the first one. Leaving a little tiny gap between the two uh, because I am going to come in and detail this with some white. Um, and again, just kind of perfecting it with my brush. I lay the outline first, fill the middle in, and then just perfect any areas that maybe aren't as smooth as I like, or maybe I want to curve it out a little bit more. Uh, this is the great thing with gel, because we can just keep playing until it goes in the light. Uh, and then that will go in for 30 seconds again. Now before I go in with the white detailing, I am going to top coat this nail uh, because I want the nail art to be kind of 3D. So I am going to use Super Shiny. Uh, one thing that I do like to do is just push the cuticle back a little bit before I go in with my top coat, just to make sure that I am getting the top coat nice and close um, so that I'm not touching the skin. And also it just means that your client is going to get like the longest wear. Um, they don't end up with a gap at the back because uh, obviously we don't want it touching the skin but we do want to get it as close as possible so just a nice thin layer over that nail and then I'll cure this for 60 seconds in my LED dot lamp.
Once that top coat is cured, make sure you do leave it to cool down for around 20 to 30 seconds because uh, if you go in and cleanse straight away, you will dull the shine. So make sure you leave it to cool and then give it a really good scrub with a nail wipe and some nail cleanser just to make sure you get rid of all of that sticky inhibition layer. And then I can go in with my Just White Butter Cream and add my details. So using a stripy brush just to add details in between those color flame designs that we've created just adds a little bit more depth and this was the thing that I really really liked on the original design that I saw by Charlotte was these details kind of surrounding the coloured flames. I then cure that buttercream for 30 seconds before going in and applying my super shiny across the remaining nails. So don't top coat that ring finger. We want to maintain that 3D effect with the just white buttercream. Um, so just top coat the other four nails, your little finger, middle finger, forefinger and thumb, and then pop that into the light for 60 seconds to cure fully. So these are the nails that have come out of the light. I'm just leaving them to cool before I then cleanse. Uh, so again, like I say, just make sure you're giving it time to cool down before you go in and give it a really good cleanse to get rid of that sticky inhibition layer. You should hear kind of a squeaky noise when you're scrubbing and that's when you know you're getting that real high shine from your super shiny. And to finish off, I'm just gonna apply some Light Elegance Cuticle Oil. Uh, boy, do my nails and hands need this oil at the moment they are so dry um, so yeah just giving that a good rub in just making them all nice and moisturized again so there we have the finished nail design i really hope you enjoyed this video um, if you recreate this look make sure you tag me and charlotte in your recreations um, if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a like Drop me a comment down below, let me know what you think and what you'd like to see next. Um, and don't forget to subscribe and also hit the notification bell so that when I upload a new video, you are the first to hear. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.